Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Gene. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the find activities under the element section of UI automation. In order to learn about find activities, we will create a demo project. In this demo project, we will first open google.com, search for w3html table using the set text activity, click on the first link, wait for the html tables element to appear, then check whether the table element exists and if it does exist, we need to display a message saying the table exists, if it doesn't, it should throw an error, then we can retrieve the child elements of the table element using the find children activity then we need to loop through the table and then extract the text from each row using the get text activity so we'll see how to create the demo project using the find activities first we'll move to the RPA Genie studio drag and drop the open browse activity provide the URL Next, maximize activity. Next is set text activity. The set text activity writes the text in a specified UI element. So click on indicate on screen. Click on the search field. Press OK. And the value that we need to search for is W3 HTML table. Next. I'll drag and drop the send hotkey. This is send hotkey is to press enter. So under the key modifiers, I press enter. The next the find element activity. The find element activity returns a particular UI element that appears on screen. So the element that I'm trying to find is the first link this element so indicate on screen click on this element press ok next i'll drag and drop the click activity we can use the output variable bar found element as the element over here in the click activity since that is the same link that I want to click. Next, I'll drag and drop the element appear activity. The element appear activity waits for a UI element to appear. So this is the element that I am I'm waiting to appear. Click on indicate on screen and click on the element, press OK. For the element section, we can provide var browser window and for the found element, we need to assign it to a variable var element appear. Next, I'll drag and drop the element exists activity. The element exists activity verifies whether a UI element exists or not. So we can click on indicate on screen and we need to check whether this table element exists or not. Select the table. We need to provide the selector for the table. Press OK. Next, I'll drag and drop the decision activity. For the first condition is to check whether the table exists or not. So exists, so if it is equal to true, it should display the message. table exists. If the table does not exist, the second decision equal to equal to false. It should 
to throw an error. Table not found. Now let's see how these activities work together un until this point. As you saw, it first opened google.com, it searched for the W3HTML table, hit enter, found the element, clicked on the first element, and it waited for HTML tables element to appear, and it checked if the table element exists. So since it does exist, it displayed a message saying table exists. Next I'll drag and drop the find children activity. The find children activity retrieves all child elements of the selected element. Element is selected using the selector and the provide, provi provided parent element. So we can use the same selector that we have used for the element exist. We can copy it and paste it over here. Next I will drag and drop the for each activity. to loop to the table. Okay. Under the for each, we can drag and drop the get text activity. The element over here should be var item since that is each row of the table. Next I will drag and drop the message box to display the value that we get from the get text activity. So I'll click on save all and I'll run the sequence. As you can see, it is extracting each the text from each row of the table. That's all for this demo. Thanks for watching.